Hi and welcome to another Tuesday night video. This one's uh, just a pure rant about a 3D printer that I bought. Um, over the last week I've had some pretty big problems with it. Um, it hasn't been mechanical failure. There's There's been a couple of things that needed to be fixed in it. <laughs> you know, like, like jam, jamming scalpel blades into it and snapping them off and things. Um, there's a couple more places that we have to do that to than the other video that I showed, but... You know, we'd live and learn. It was £500, what can I say? So, I contacted XYZ support. They just basically said, if there's no error codes and no broken parts, then it works fine. Obviously, it does work fine. Apart from the, the ridgy printing. It wasn't good. It looked like a ladder up the outside. It was like steps all the way. It was horrible. So, I thought, I'm going to go for it. I've reflashed it with Repetio Host. And I'm using Repetio Host to... Uh, sorry, repeat your host along with Slicer, with a three rather than an E, to to do all me um all me slicing and all me all me G code, and I've, I've even ordered like a an extension cable thing, with a SD card simulation on one end, and an SD card reader on the other, so that I can put it into the back of the printer and then have it dangle out the side. Well, I'll probably glue it to the side of the case because the the warranty has gone now, so I can do pretty much anything I want. But uh, yeah, it works really well, printing. I mean, we'll switch to some video and you can see kind of like the menu on Repetio Host. You know, it's it's pretty good. It has the same timeout on the light. You just hit a button and the light comes on. And as you can see, it's printing. But the main thing for me is it's not the build quality and it's not the print quality. It's the noise. Repetio Host makes it so much quieter. I have no idea why. Because it, it seems to be printing at the same speeds. So... I don't know whether it's the steps that the motor takes or whether it's the amount of current that they draw or whatever repeat your host G code does, but it makes the entire printer a lot quieter. And I would highly recommend anybody who's got an XYZ Da Vinci out there who doesn't really like the firmware that comes with it to put repeat your host on it. Mine's the um the one point oh A and you know, there was a, a tutorial on it by uh Dope Sooner nine thirty on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description. And you know, you just follow those steps. It may be a little bit, uh, a little bit bizarre what you're doing at some points. You know, you, you download some software, install it on your machine, click some buttons, change some change some parameters, and then that's it. You just upload the firmware, and then the printer beeps and makes a few noises, and it works fine. So you know, if you want to go for it, I recommend anybody goes for it. I, I, I certainly have had very little problems. Well, apart from calibrating the bed, but. It's an XYZ Da Vinci calibrate and the bed is kind of like a black art anyway. You you come up with your own your own method of doing it. There's there's a few videos out there about it. So, you know, once you get that down, you're absolutely sorted. So that's it. That's me rant for today. I've been Steve. Please like, comment, and subscribe as usual. Thanks for listening.